How's it going? So today we're going to finish our questions from question 36 up to 40. Uh, question 36 it says, um, what is the pressure exerted on a two square meter surface when a force of this is applied on it? So they are they want you to recall the the uh, the uh, the they want you to recall. So they want you to recall the formula for pressure. So pressure. So pressure is equal to force over area. So force is equal to 20 newtons here over area. It's 12 square meters here. So you'd actually get 10 Pascals. Okay. So there's no need to say 10.0 here. I don't know what they do as uh, in with their scientific with the significant figures, but this is not correct. Okay. So let's just uh, go with that. It's simply 10. Question 37 says the diagram shows a machine lifting a load. So this machine, this the machine is a lever. Okay, so uh, this woman, she's not the machine there. So how is the mechanical advantage calculated? So MA, it's a good load over effort. Okay, so that's the mechanical advantage. Velocity ratio is got different uh, distance traveled by the effort divided by distance traveled by the load. So load, our load is uh, 1,200 newtons. And we just have to put an effort of 300 newtons here. So we get four. So we don't, we don't need to calculate because uh, we just have to identify the formula. So the formula is 1,200 divided by 300. So it's uh, this one here. Okay, that's it. Let's continue from, uh, let's continue to question 38, a cell phone is uh, described as a demodulator, a modulator, an amplifier, a transceiver. A cell phone is uh, uh, described as a transceiver, okay. So transceiver, it means um, transmitter plus receiver. So a cell phone, you can use it to transmit messages. You can also use it in the same breath to actually receive messages, okay. So this is, this is why an amplifier I use it in signal processor in pro signal processing to enhance uh, our quality or to enhance the uh, amplitude of a wave. Okay, so yeah, that's just about it. Let's uh, continue to the next part. The next part says the flow chart uh, shows part of uh, the processing of, uh, of a signal. Okay, so part of the processing of the signal, uh, we have receiver here going to decoder. And then to human, he asked, what's the function of the decoder? So decoder here, why is it necessary? So the, the uh, general idea behind a decoder is uh, to decode the information that's being transmitted. So you can think of it as the information being transmitted, they can be digital or analog signals. And these digital or analog signals, they are signals that the uh, machines can understand, okay? but then they are not really audible to uh, the person. So the decoder is actually required so that it can give uh, an audible output or an output that in, that's intelligible to the human, okay? So, but then here, the uh, weird thing was that there was no direct uh, answer to that. So the best answer here would be to separate the sound wave from the carrier wave, because the sound wave is what you want, okay? So the sound wave is the uh, signal that's uh, uh, intelligible to the human. To mix uh, the sound wave with a carrier um, wave, it's called encoding. Okay, so this one would be encoding. It means that we are actually putting the information in some form of code. Uh, that's one of the reasons why, why is well, one of the reasons why uh, it's hard to intercept uh, uh, certain communication lines. So, for example, WhatsApp or something like that, just because the message is encoded first, it has to be decoded at the, at the other end, okay? So that's it. Let's see if we can uh, do the last question. So this one was a, was a short video. The diagram shows a three pin plug. So you should know this. You should know everything. You should know how to label it. So the way that we were taught, we were taught that blue, this L here, it means left. So here, you just know that this is blue. 
brown this R here we told that it's right so that you know that this is brown okay and uh, this one will be yellow So this blue left, this blue left brown right thing, it's to only identify the positions, okay? But then it doesn't tell you uh, what any of these are. So the the live, it's actually the um, uh, the live is actually the brown one. So this one is is the live, okay? And uh, the the neutral, it's actually this blue one here. So this one will be the neutral. This one we call it the, the add, okay. This one is just a fuse. This this one seeds is just to hold this this cable in place, okay. So at which position is the live wire connected? So live wire we had said uh, it's this one, this brown here. Yeah, so it's uh, it's actually B. Okay. So just uh, remember this one. These are easy marks because uh, this this bias has very few concepts and it's uh, it's very easy to understand, okay. So that's just about it for this paper. Make sure you um, send over any questions that you might have, even some question papers that you want us to cover. A part of the reason um, we don't cover some papers is that we actually don't have them. This, this paper, as you could see, that it wasn't really presentable just because uh, we actually took it uh, from someone who had uh, photocopied it. So if we have original uh, question papers sometimes, if you can go and then scan some of your papers, send them over, it's, it's, it's something uh, remarkable for us and then we can actually produce uh, some of these questions, okay? So thanks, thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Yubo, out.